you're using mid-journey version 6 these days, you can now type in dash dash S-R-E-F space random to the end of your prompt and actually get a random style applied to your image. You can use this exact same process also on the mid-journey website to apply style also. But there's a lot more to it than just this. And I'm gonna dive into that today. Now this is very reminiscent of the slash tune function that we used to have in version five, which still works if you're using version five. But just remember, if you wanna use this code, you do need to type in either dash dash V space six to the end of your prompt, or make sure that if you go to slash settings, you have mid-journey version, version six selected. But let's scroll up a little bit. One of the coolest things about this function is the fact that you actually get a style reference code right next to your prompt. And if you're on the website and you'll notice that it actually doesn't give you the code, it gives you a SREF random. So if I want to actually copy this code, I'm gonna come up to the little three lines here. I'm gonna to go to copy job ID and head back to discord. I'm gonna type in slash show space and I'm going to paste that job ID in and you'll notice I now get the style code. So if you're looking to grab a style code from an image generated on the website, you will need to do that, which is one of the reasons why I think I prefer Discord for this particular function. But now if I copy this entire code and add it to the end of my prompts, I can get some images using that same style, which is pretty powerful. Now you'll also notice the consistency across these images. But if I also apply that same code to Niji, I can actually get a very similar result as well. So this works for using Niji version six. Now this is really cool because that means you can take these codes, copy them and share them with other people. But this is also interesting because it means if you type in dash dash S R E F and any random numbers, even just the number one, you can produce images using that number style, which means we now have a bunch of numbers we can plug in to see what style we can get. So I literally created a prompt, a woman's face, and just decided to start with one and cycle through to see what different styles were available. And I've also decided I'm gonna start up a page on my website, sharing these styles and the numbers with them. So if you wanna check it out, there's a link in the description below if you wanna sort of like get some of those styles to try for yourself. So here's a quick nifty trick I wanted to share with you. I've created this image with a style reference of four. And this is where it starts to get a little bit fun. If I upscale number two, I can actually go down to very region. However, if you wanna do this, make sure you go to slash settings and turn on remix mode before doing it. And I have very region here. Because I have remix mode turned on, I can change my prompt. What I can do is take my lasso tool and draw over the eyes. And I can change the style reference from four to one. I submit, and you can see we've applied style one to an image of style four in a particular area. So I'll upscale this one, and you can see we've been able to combine styles within that image using very region. That's not only just the power of styles, but just the power of what you can do with very region using some of these prompt commands. Now there are a few things this doesn't work with. For one, you simply can't use more than one code like you used to in version five. All it does is throw up an error. Also, if you want to use style version dash dash SV, which you can use when using a URL, that also brings up an error. And finally, of course, if you want to actually use a URL and a number, those two also don't mix. But it is also pretty cool to be able to type in a prompt and just add in a random number. So you can get some pretty cool results just by trying certain numbers or even numbers that you think you can remember as a bit of a experiment. But if you really want to explore a vast number of styles, enter your prompt, type in random, and then dash dash repeat and a number, and you can try several different styles all at once. I'm gonna try repeat 10 for 10 different styles. And you can see here the results I was able to get with all these various different style references using the same prompt. So one thing I want to ask you, if you find a style you think is really eye-catching, please leave it in the comments below. And also don't forget to check out the resource of style codes, link in the description. I'm going to put as many in there as I can, at least for a little while. So that way we can share this around and have some kind of reference of codes and styles that we can try with this feature. Now the beauty of this is we can still click on an image, copy the image URL, or in this case, I'm gonna copy the link address as this links to an image. 
and still create something completely different. Dog in the park, ring samurai armor, dash dash, SREF, paste the URL, and we can still make use of these styles by simply using the image we create. So we're using it the intended purpose of the style reference, which is uploading an image URL. But now that we're using the URL, we can enter our prompt and add in dash dash SV for style version. And we can put any number between one to four and get a slightly different version of that style. So you can enter the prompt as you see it now, or you can do something else. I'm gonna add in curly brackets for permutations, one comma two comma three comma four. So I've got dash dash SV space, curly bracket, one, two, three, four, separated by commas, and another curly bracket at the end. And when I hit enter, it asks me if I want to imagine the four prompts from the template, I click yes. We then get four variations of that one style and you can see from picture to picture, they are slightly different. So this gives you a chance to sort of take that style code a step further by using the image and then playing with style variations for a little further control. So that should give you a little bit to experiment and play around with with Midjourney's new style random feature or the style codes. Also, you can still use slash tune to create a code and use it in version 5.2 and then as we've been doing, copy the URL and use it as a style reference for version six if you really wanna make use of that feature still. Otherwise, thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you found it useful. If you did, please consider giving the video a like. Otherwise, hope to see you again soon. Have a great day.